Hello and welcome to this video about making new species. Now a species of, a of animals is a group of similar animals or similar individuals that can interbreed. So if the animals can breed with each other and produce offspring they are of the same species. If they can't breed with each other and produce offspring, then they are considered two different species. And the way that species are brought about, the way that new species are brought about, is by isolation. So that means that they are physically separated from each other. Um, we tend to call that geographical isolation. When the animals can't actually reach each other to be able to breed. For example, we've got two groups of animals over here, and it could be that at one time they were the same species, but gradually, over hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of years, as the mountain range between them got higher it then caused these two groups to be isolated and form two different species. So because these were isolated, then they can become two different species because they no longer interbreed with each other. Therefore, their genes and their genetic information changes so much that they are now considered to be two different species. So this mountain range here could be an example of something that causes um, isolation between two groups to cause two different species. Similarly, if you had an island situation, it could be that the sea causes a geographical barrier between the two groups, which could then lead to these groups becoming two different species because these birds here would start breeding with each other, these birds here would start breeding with each other, and over thousands of years they would then perhaps be made into two different species because they're no longer interbreeding with each other, and then after thousands of years their genes would change so much that they would be considered a different species. So for foundation tier, all you really need to know is that isolation can cause two new species to form um, because they can no longer interbreed with each other. So depending on its um, ability to move, um, there could be several different things that cause a phys physical barrier or the geographical barrier. Um, it could be that the tectonic plates were moving over hundreds of thousand years, it could be that a valley was formed or that there was a fast flowing river or whatever it was. And just bear in mind that this doesn't take place overnight, this will take um, thousands if not hundreds of thousands of years for this new species to form. If you're taking the high tier then please um, continue to listen as you need to know how species are formed in a little bit more detail. So then we've covered um, isolation so far, which would be the first step of generating a new species. So for example then let's assume that a body of water has come between these two groups of elephants, maybe a very large body of water as tectonic plates were moving or something like that, and that has caused isolation of the two groups of elephants. Now don't forget that they don't just suddenly turn into two different species, um, there's other factors that take place. Now the first important thing to realise is the fact that already in this population there is genetic variation. These elephants aren't clones of each other, they will look um, slightly different. So for example if we take the characteristic of hair length, then just naturally some elephants will have short hair 
and some will have long hair which I'm going to really exaggerate here just so you can see I'm just going to put in just naturally some elephants having long hair some elephants having short hair in both populations so they'll vary from loads of different types of alleles um, but we're just going to concentrate on hair length for the purposes of this video so in creating new species why is um, genetic variation important imagine then these two elephants coming under differing climatic conditions for example if we suggest then that the ones over here are experiencing over long term lots of rain very cold weather whereas the group over here due to the isolation and the movement and the location of these elephants now they are experiencing a different climate a sunny climate where there is warm weather so these differing conditions then are where the natural selection comes in because with natural selection the alleles that control characteristics which will help the organism survive will um, survive in the population because those animals will survive and pass on their genes again this won't happen overnight it will be a really gradual process that will take thousands or hundred thousands of years but imagine therefore that having long hair is beneficial in this environment okay where it's cold and loads of rain etc whereas having short hair is beneficial in this hot climate over here for this group so what's going to happen then is due to this process called natural selection which was studied by Darwin gradually over time it will be the characteristic for long hair which will survive in this population because the long hair animals will breed and pass on their genes for long hair to the next population whereas um, gradually over time the short haired individuals will um, the gene for short hair will not be passed on because there will be survival of the fittest the fittest animals will survive and reproduce and pass on their genes and gradually this short hair population will die out conversely on the other side the short hair is going to be the advantage so these animals are going to be more likely to survive and reproduce and pass on their genes to the next generation and it will be the long haired individuals that will gradually over time over thousands of years die out so we get a situation where it's survival of the fittest and in this case the animals with short hair will survive and pass their genes on to the next generation they pass their genes for short hair on to the next generation and in this case you've got the opposite you've still got survival of the fittest so those animals that can that have a gene which provides a fitness in their environment in this case it will be long hair they will survive and then pass on their genes for long hair to the next generation and this process will take thousands if not hundreds of thousands of years but eventually due to all, due to this isolation and this um, natural selection and this breeding that's going on in the two populations eventually they these populations will become so different from each other so they'll become so different genetically that you will then have speciation you will then have two separate species and you might go on to call this the short-haired species and the long-haired species which by definition of the species would 
no longer be able to interbreed. So there's often some quite long questions um, on speciation and the process process involved in selecting new species so you really need to get all of these points down in your answer so try and think about isolation the idea of genetically genetic variation if it helps just think of the elephants and think that naturally some have short hair some have longer hair um, the idea of natural selection which involves survival of the fittest and passing on your genes to the next generation which will eventually lead to speciation where the animals will no longer be able to interbreed. If you found this video useful then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe for further videos. Thanks for watching.